This episode of Imbibe Sips is brought to you by Chambord Black Raspberry Liqueur. Hey there, I'm Evan Zimmerman from Laurelhurst Market in Portland, Oregon. Today we're going to talk about the Boston Shaker. Uh, the Boston Shaker is something you see in most bars and you see most bartenders use. And unlike the Cobbler Shaker, which is a three-piece shaker, the Boston Shaker is a very simple two-piece shaker. Uh, it usually consists of a metal shaking tin and a pint glass. Um, what you do is, is you put your ingredients in the metal glass, put your pint glass on top with ice, shake, and make a drink. Um, you can also do what I do at my bar, which is by what's called a cheater tin. A cheater tin replaces the pint glass in the combination and simply just sits in the larger shaker and lets you shake a drink uh, a little bit faster and uh, tends to be a little bit just more compact. For the most part, you're going to see these sold together as a set. Uh, this is very, very cheap and a very efficient way to shake a cocktail, a little bit more efficient than the three-piece cobbler shaker set. A lot of people tend to have problems separating Boston shakers, sealing Boston shakers, and uh, we're just going to pretty much go over the basics of how to keep them together and how to take them apart and how to shake a drink. So for an example, we're going to make a gimlet. Um, for a gimlet, you need two ounces of gin, half an ounce of lime juice, about a half teaspoon or a bar spoon of simple syrup, Now when using a Boston shaker, you're going to want to probably also get a Hawthorne strainer. This is a strainer with a spring on top. It's going to allow you to fit onto the shaker and allow you to strain the drink off the ice into a glass. There are lots of different styles you can get. I would recommend getting something with a nice tight coil so you don't get little pieces of ice kind of floating out from behind there. So I'm going to shake your ice. So when you add ice, you want to probably add ice up to about that part of the shaker about halfway up. Uh, that way when you can create a seal you're not going to allow any liquid to come out of the sides or allow any ice to flip up and really be able to get a good strong seal. And then you want to put this thing on at a bit of an angle. Uh, that way it's going to rest in your hand really nicely. It's also going to create a nice seal. Now when you shake I suggest keeping thumb on top of the air and something to hold in the bottom. Kind of hold it like this on both ends. That way you don't really run the risk of this popping off the top or this popping off the bottom. You get a really nice tight grip and it's going to create a nice tight air seal. So from there you shake the drink. You know, there's no real right or wrong way to shake a drink. You're just going to want to have something that's going to get the drink chilled down quickly without diluting it too much and aerate the cocktail slightly. Uh, now, probably the most difficult part of this whole process is getting the glass off of the metal. There's really a small, simple trick that's all really able to do is take it and simply squeeze the Boston shaker to break the seal. Um, that'll kind of break the seal and allow you to use your other hand to pull the pint glass out of the shaker. From there, you add your Hawthorne strainer on top of your mixing tin. And if you're like me and you don't like little tiny bits of ice shards in your drink, you want to get like a tea strainer or a double strainer and then simply strain your drink into your glass. Strain your drink. And that's how you use a Boston shaker. Cheers.